Richard Krause. <laughs> well, it's funny because I wouldn't have thought of The Toxic Avenger, the movie, which I'm very familiar, you know, I love that Oh, movie. yeah, sure. But I wouldn't have thought of it as a musical. Now to know that there are not one, the one that's playing in Toronto, but that there's actually three musicals kicking around out there. What do you think it is about the material that has drawn people to it and had them decide, you know what, a couple of tunes, a few dance numbers, this would make a great musical? Well, again, I sh the films that I've made are very colorful. I've always loved prime color. I've always had some singing on screen and dancing on screen. Um, you know, the Smithereens performed in uh, the Class of Newcomb High Part 1. Uh, so I know, I know as I've had, uh, in Waitress, uh, we've got uh, a Duke Ellington song. In Toxic Avenger Part uh, 2, there's a big fight scene choreographed to Duke Ellington. It's like a ballet. It's choreographed to Duke Ellington's, uh, um, it, it ain't got that, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. And Tulip a Turnip is uh, on screen in Waitress. Uh, so we've had, we've had kind of like musical videos within our movies from the beginning. And I think uh, the fact that I love the musicals, there's a certain amount of, of ballet. You know, these fight scenes in our films are, are choreographed. I mean, they're more like dances than uh, anything else. And, uh, uh, you know, movies are closely related to music anyway. So I guess people, uh, people just sort of got the idea that this would be an interesting uh, idea for, you know, the Toxic Avenger would be indeed a musical. Ma you know, Chinese studies, which I majored in at Yale, uh, the yin and the yang, you know, Taoism is what I learned, uh, that's what I came away with. Uh, I mean, I came away with a lot more, and uh, including some venereal diseases on uh, my visits to Southeast Asia. But um, uh, I came away with the Taoism, which teaches about yin and yang and how, you know, the, the, you know, the sign, the yin and yang sign, and you, know, you can't have good without evil, they're together, rich and poor, smart and dumb. Uh, the oyster gets a piece of sand stuck in its uh, anus and creates uh, this beautiful pearl and pain and pleasure, all that stuff. So, you know, why not this movie that seems totally grotesque, totally uh, horrible, totally uh, um, violent uh, and, and erotic, uh, you, know, you know, basically uh, hardcore, almost hardcore sex. Um, meanwhile, uh, what, why not? Why not? It can be a beautiful musical. And uh, ac actually, you know, Rodgers and Hammerstein, they're very dark. South Pacific is a very dark film. And uh, boy, it sound of music, all these, all of this... You know, they're pretty, you know, Lorenz Hart, too, Rogers and Hart. You check out Pal Joey. That's a dark, that's a dark uh, 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 show. And it's all based on John O'Hara's uh, uh, very dark short story. And, um, you know, you see, you end up at, at the end of Pal Joey, which was an, Pal Joey was a huge success. Uh, you know, it's been revived numerous times. You know, there's, there's uh, uh, all sorts of sex in it. And, uh, I mean, for its day, it must have been hot as a firecracker. And the... The, um, the, uh, the about a gigolo and an older woman and the younger gal who he's romancing and and I mean it's and at the end he ends up with nothing and uh, I mean it's pretty it's dark it is extremely dark yeah I guess people have an idea that if it's a musical it's all kind of sweetness and light but I, the, no you the opposite is true the, the, you know be, I think part of it is because of movies like uh, you know maybe My Fair Lady and but you know, boy, you look at look at West Side Story. It doesn't get that's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Well, actually, I think Leonard Bernstein was basing it on Tromeo and Juliet, yeah. the great trauma classic. <laughs> uh, even though Tromeo and Juliet was uh, forty years after West Side Story, I know that that Bernstein was imitating yeah, yeah, yeah. the trauma movie. Now. When you first saw the, the musical, I guess, because I heard about this online for a long time. They, they tried it out of town. They did lots of uh, test runs, I guess, yes. with this show. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it. I saw it in New York. And I really felt that they grabbed the spirit of the movie really well. Um, the, the story is essentially the same. Uh, they've done a really good job at translating your classic onto the stage. Um, what were your initial reactions when you saw it for the first time? thought it was hilarious. It was yeah. great. It was very amusing. Uh, the the lyrics are absolutely hilarious. The tunes, uh, you love them. You know, the music is great. You know, you sing it. You, uh, it, it it's, it's, it's genius because it's, uh, it's, it's the, the, in New York, it's in a, uh, I think, a 300-seat mm -hmm. theater, but it's full every night, standing ovations. I've seen it several times, and, uh, and people are singing the songs as they, you know, I hear them singing at, you know, when they leave the theater. It's, uh, you know, there aren't too many musicals where you go out singing the songs. So this is, and, and it's the, 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 the wit, it's 
totally witty, and indeed these guys have seen more than one trauma movie. There's there's references, I think, where they've done a good job in this. The cartoons, Toxic Crusader cartoons, Murakami Wolf, who made the cartoons, um, the, and uh, I didn't write all, you know, I had a, there were other writers, I wrote some of them, but the other writers clearly were looking at other trauma movies, and they would sort of synthesize the, the some of the jokes and humor there, and uh, it, it's it's... Toxic Avenger the musical really, really I think is a classic. I think it's going to be uh, in the in the fullness of time. Toxic Avenger the musical is going to be in there with with the Fantastics and uh, and uh, Little Shop of Horrors. It's wittier than Little Shop of Horrors. It's a better show. Richard Krause.